let's transition into kind of what the app experience is like, what the user experience is like. I know you said that they have the assessment and then it gives them some strategies, but give us an idea of what the user interface is like, kind of what it's anything that you can describe to give us a feeling for what it's like to be um, an athlete using Mm -hmm. some of the tools and tracking your progress over time. Yeah. So I'll, 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 you know, you're spot on with the injury point as well. Like we've had three or four people reach out in the last week saying they've, they've become injured and uh, using the app has really helped them manage their anxiety and stress and frustration around that. So really, really great to hear that kind of thing. In terms of the user experience, readiness assessment, daily morning practice done as part of a, of a consistent morning routine. So as consistent as you can fit it into your routine, it's great. Mm-hmm. It's quite an active process. You know, it's a reaction time task. It's followed by some survey questions. We're also passively pulling some data in from, from your sources. Mindset recovery system is, again, quite active, but doesn't involve a lot of sort of direct interaction with the app. So there are these sessions that you can almost watch. And some of those will involve you engaging in guided breathing and some of the protocols are more passive and you can sort of sit back and, and sort of enjoy them. And uh, yeah, sort of has has an effect in that way as well. It also sort of getting you to think about things. So getting you to express some gratitude, getting you to visualize certain moments, getting you to visualize your day, successful performances, et cetera. In terms of the neurotraining system, it's kind of like a game. So you're you're playing this game, you're interacting with colors. Um, it's challenging, it's confusing, it fries your brain, but that's the point of it. It's kind uh-huh. of frustrating, which makes it a hard sell, but it's frustrating in a good way because it's ultimately helping you. Uh-huh. So yeah, our athletes using it love it because they're competitive people. They... <laughs> they're used to that sort of challenge and they like that challenge and it's a different kind of challenge. So I really like it, but it's, it's not easy. Let's put it that way. Yes. And are these more, of course, mobile device, but some of these games, do they play it on iPads or computer laptops or what yeah, do you recommend? It's, um, yeah. I, iPhone or I, or Android or, mm-hmm. you know, phone is uh, ideal, but whatever you've got, uh, if it's got a sort of app store on it, you can download the app right away mm-hmm. and uh, sign up. And if you want to mention, do you want to mention the price and what all of this entails and what, how do they sign up and what kind of costs are they anticipating to be a part of rewire fitness? Yeah. So great news as of, as of a couple of weeks ago, we've, released a free version as well so anyone can come mm-hmm. sign up uh engage in some mindset recovery try out the neuro training system try out the readiness assessment um and use sort of aspects of the system for free if you really want to double down and improve your performance we've also got an elite version and what that gives you access to is our 24 7 recovery coach uh, recommendation engine post-workout recovery our full mindset recovery library and our full neuro training library so there's a plan there for everyone yeah that sounds Check great let's talk a little bit about where is the future of this going so obviously you guys created a lot of things and just released last year end of last year so where is the future of this kind of mental cognitive training helping you to be more mentally ready for sports activities and all of this yeah so we're really excited to really face this year on neuro buttons which allow someone to you know, it's a hardware device and allows someone to train their mind whilst they're training your body. So you can literally be on your bike trainer and indoor bike trainer and and be doing a neuro training task whilst you're working out physically. Or you could be on a treadmill or a run, you know, in a safe environment, of course, but mm-hmm. training your mind whilst you're training your body, which is such a unique experience. And um, I love the experience. It's great. And it really is beneficial to your performance as well. So we're super excited about that. That is exciting. And one thing that I want to, this is my area of interest. Um, my research studies too, in my program is that I'm really interested in how cognitive load affects your motor, motor skills or development. And mm. we know that obviously like sports, right? You, a lot of the things that you've been practicing and training, it happens under all of the cognitive load conditions, looking where the defender is tracking the ball, you know, all of these types of things. So just adding that piece into a training, even if it's just going for a run, right? But you have to do some type of cognitive task that usually kind of reinforces and embeds the motor skills that we're trying to do even further. So we become more automatic or don't use as much cognitive resources to carry out that task. So when you say that, that's really interesting because 
you know, for any athletes out there, maybe you might do it in practice, but you don't really do it in the weight room that you're combining a cognitive task or creating like a dual task environment, cognitive task with a motor task to actually start to perform or train a little better. So is there anything that you want to touch on with that aspect to elaborate a little bit more on the value of training a cognitive task when you're physically training? Yeah, I think um, what I'd compare it to is like that feeling at the end of a, you know, end of a game or end of a race where, you know, fatigue has built up and you're cloudy, your mind is clouded, you're yes. starting to make silly mistakes and sort of better preparing yourself to, to, to be in those situations is incredibly valuable. Yes, that is huge. So, you know, there's a lot of great gems in this episode. I know you're really busy too, but we'll end it with this. Do you have any last words for athletes? Um, just the big message of why they should start to train, you know, this mental and cognitive state. And yeah, any last words for any athletes listening out there? Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd uh, ask everyone to consider how important their mind is to performance and whether they're doing enough to train it. And if I was to guess, I'd say for most people, the answer to that would be very important mm -hmm. and not enough. <laughs> and if that's the case, then, then please do check us out and please do, you know, we're in a world of marginal gains and yet the mind is a really untapped component. There's a lot of potential there to tap. Um, so really interesting stuff there. So yeah, please do check us out and uh, we'd, be, we'd love to talk to you and uh, help you out as well. Sounds good. And why don't you share your website? I'll put all of this in the show notes too, social media platforms and how to reach you. Yeah, website is rewirefitness.app. The uh, Instagram is rewirefitness. Uh, our app is rewirefitness. <laughs> so yeah, rewirefitness pretty much everywhere. And uh, yeah, please do check us out. Got it. And they can download the app and then sign up at least for the free version to kind of see some of the features, right? And oh. that they can do without having to log in or anything like that. We create an account. You can create okay. an account, uh, but it's a free account. So yeah. Got it. Yeah. So everyone go check it out. I mean, there's a lot of great things. I'm really excited to see all of the great things that you guys do in the future. Um, I'm sure that you're getting a lot bigger with many athletes um, of all levels. So this is something that's very important. But overall, I really enjoyed talking about human performance, this mental resilience, mental aspect of it. And yes, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. It's been uh, brilliant to talk to you.